Hello, this is Timothy Perfit from Two Canoes Software. I'm going to show you how to install and uh, use your license key in WinClone uh, 8. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'll do is I'll click on the download button to go ahead and download uh, WinClone. Um, once it gets downloaded, it almost always goes into your downloads folder. But if you're using Safari, uh, the easiest way I found to get it is just to click on the downloads button and then double click on the image, the disk image that it downloads. And then you can see it down, it mounted this disk image. So to install it, it's very simple. You just double click on the package and we'll walk through uh, install, installing it. It'll prompt me for admin uh, passwords because it's being installed into the applications folder. Okay, put in my password. Okay. All right, it's now been installed. Uh, if I hit close, it asks me if it wants to put it in the trash. That's fine, you can put it in the trash, but um, one thing to realize that the, the disk image does has um, a link to the documentation and an uninstaller in there, but you can always download that later if you want to. Now if we go into our Applications folder, I usually go up to the Go menu and go to Applications here. And then you should see under the W's, WinClone. There it is, WinClone 8, and I'll drag this to my dock. Oh, it's already in my dock. So I will click on it to open it up. First thing we get is a license agreement to agree to and um, and a little bit of information about uh, what's new in WinClone 8. So give that a good read. And then you're you're free to kind of view the app. You haven't purchased it yet. So if when you get ready to purchase, you can either click on the buy button or if you're um, actually doing an operation, um, you can see that it'll prompt you and uh, to, to purchase it. Oh, it needs a helper tool as well. Let me put this in. So the helper tool's been installed, and then when you do the image, it says that you have to purchase. And so this purchasing sheet comes up. If we uh, cancel out of that, just click on the buy, the exact same thing uh, shows up as well. So uh, you get to choose between, do you want to do, do WinClone Standard or WinClone Pro? If you already have a, an image, or sorry, if you already have a license, you can click on already have a license. Um, but on this one, we're going to go ahead and uh, click on select WinClone Standard. And it goes up to our payment provider and asks for a few basic details. So I'll just put in my email address and my zip code. And then we can uh, pay by credit card or PayPal. Um, I'm going to use a coupon. Okay, so then the purchase is complete. I'll complete the checkout. Once that's done, um, we, we now are able to start using uh, WinClone. Um, you can go up to preferences as well, and you can see there's a serial number here as well, and you can deactivate the license here. If you deactivate the license, it now can be used onto another computer. So if we deactivate that, you can do that. You can also activate if you have a license key, like if I have this license key, I can go back and say activate license, and I'll just put in my license or my email and then the key, click on activate and now it's activated again. So both ways you can do that for uh, either the purchase in the app or if you downloaded uh, or if you purchased it online and you have a license key, you can go ahead and enter that in to uh, WinClone. Um, in order to update WinClone when there's new releases out, you can go up to the uh, WinClone menu and say check for updates. And when you do that, it'll see if there's any updates available and uh, download and install them if there is. Um, the other thing is if you want to upgrade between WinClone Standard and WinClone Pro, you can do that as well by clicking the Buy button. And now we just have the option for purchasing WinClone Pro. Um, and then once this is done, if you purchase WinClone Pro, the Pro this uh, Buy button goes away. So thank you very much for watching the video on how to uh, um, install and get up and running with WinClone. So please uh, be sure to um, subscribe and check back for uh, other tutorial videos.